Today I'm going to be talking about a uh, quick tutorial on setting up Z Attack Proxy. And Z Attack Proxy, or ZAP for short, is essentially a proxy that sits in between your computer and the web applications that you visit and allows you to intercept traffic and modify the requests and responses that are sent between you and the application. So to begin, you can download Zap Proxy in Windows executable form or a Linux tarball or a Mac OS X file. And you can install Zap on any of these platforms and you can download it from the code.google.com Zap Proxy page. Just do a quick Google search for download Zap and you'll notice uh, the code.google page in your search results. So once you download Zap, uh, just run it and you'll notice this interface and this is the standard zap interface and by default zap proxy functions by setting itself up on a port that you redirect all of your traffic through on the local host so I'm going to run through setting that up quickly in Firefox so in your web browser if you go to Firefox, and then Preferences. In other uh, operating systems, it may be under Edit Preferences. And then if you go to the Advanced tab, and then the Network tab, and then click on Settings under Connection, you can choose Manual Proxy Configuration, choose Local Host, and then for Port, enter 8080. Once you're finished with that, also uh, check use this proxy server for all protocols and that will allow you to intercept um, HTTPS SSL traffic as well as FTP traffic and so when you're finished that hit OK and exit out of the settings page and then when you refresh your browser you'll notice in Zap under the sites listing, a bunch of websites are appearing. And Zap segregates these websites by folder and you do a little tree menu here based on how um, the code on the page is accessing other resources. So on this page, you can see that we access code from code.google.com as well as Google Analytics and some Google APIs. And so in some of my future tutorials, I'm going to be talking about how to intercept um, traffic and edit requests and responses that are made between you and the web page. So be sure to check out my other videos as well. But this is the basic guide for setting up and using Zap Proxy.